Had 12 fires just on the west side in the month of August. A series of arsons put fire investigators in Youngstown on high alert. And tonight, they're offering a $5,000 reward in hopes of finding answers. The latest rash of arson hit the city's west side overnight. 27 First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti talked with investigators and worried neighbors. Neighbors of this house on Wellington tell me off camera they awoke to loud noises outside around 2.30 this morning. I looked out. I didn't see anybody. It sounded like it was like um, people fighting or like up and down the street kind of. I didn't see anybody. Within minutes, the front of this house was burning, but it wasn't the only one. Over the course of two hours, there were five arsons reported in and around the Mahoning and Steel areas on the west side, one at Schulte's Thrift Store, followed by four vacant houses, including two across from each other on Midland. I believe that it's a, a group of juveniles, uh, more than one. Arson investigator Kurt Wright tells me all five of the fires appear to have been set on the outside of the buildings, all within blocks of one another. I believe that they are traveling on foot. Uh, the, the sequence of the fires that occurred last night or this morning uh, started on Mahoning Avenue and continued north. Besides the five overnight, there were five more arsons since last Wednesday, and Wright believes all are connected, with 12 on the west side so far this month. Michael Clark says he's trying to remodel the house next door to the one on Wellington. You're trying to fix up these properties, you know, to get them rented, uh, you know, to make an income, you know, to make a living. And then, you know, you have somebody who's just going around setting these, you know, houses on fire. For now, investigators hope signs like this will get neighbors' attention. I want as many people on the west side to be aware of the criminal activity that is taking place and, to, you know, be uh, to watch out, you know, for the activity. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.